Hello friends, this video on biodiversity and conservation part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the question is, what is the importance of biodiversity to our ecosystem? Now we are giving so much of importance to it. We are saying that, okay, biodiversity needs to be conserved. So that means it, it has some big importance in our ecosystem. So let us quickly look at its importance of in the ecosystem. Species diversity results in more stable biological community. Now the question is, what do you mean by a more stable biological community? Now when we talk about an ecosystem, an ecosystem is all about relationship between different living organisms. Not only living organisms, even the abiotic components, that is the non-living organisms also play a very important role. So in an ecosystem, an ecosystem exists due to the interaction and interdependence between various living and non-living organisms. Now, when you have a variety of species, it gives rise to a more stable community. More stable community in the sense that uh, when you have, it, it is something like this. Let us suppose uh, if you think of a food chain. Now, in a food chain, now you consider any organism. Let us say you consider uh, a cat. Now, what are the food items which a cat consumes? Now, a cat can consume milk, a cat can also consume some non-vegetarian item, for example, some other animals like fish or it can consume a mouse. Since there are a variety of living organisms existing on this earth, therefore the variety of food which is available to a particular organism is also more. So that means even if there are no fishes available, the cat can very easily feed on milk. If there is no milk available, the cat can feed on a mouse. So that means that you have alternative options. Now the more alternatives you have, the more stable the community becomes because you are not wholly and solely dependent on one particular thing. So if you have more variety of species in the ecosystem, it will make the community more stable. Increased diversity results in increased productivity. Now, how productivity increases? Now, each species in our ecosystem have an important role to play. So, each of them have a specific role to play. You think of any organism. Now, if that organism becomes, I mean, it, it, it is not existing. So, it will affect the ecosystem. It will affect the entire balance. So that means if the diversity exists, this will boost the productivity of that ecosystem. Because when your system is more stable, so obviously the productivity will be more. So it is something like this. When you fall ill, when you are not well, you are having headache or you are having stomachache, you are not feeling well. So do you think that your productivity will be more? Even if you are studying, you will not be able to concentrate well on your studies. You will not be able to understand things at once because you are not well. So your productivity is less. So when you are not well, you are not stable. So in a very similar way, when the ecosystem is more stable, the productivity of the ecosystem will also be more. And when these things happen, when the species diversity is more. Ensure sustenance of all life forms. So it is very easy to understand by considering the example of the food chain and food web. Now I will not get into food web because it will unnecessarily complicate things. But if you take an example of a simple food chain, you will see that let us suppose this is a goat which feeds on the plants. Here you have a tiger which feeds on the goat and when this tiger dies then these microorganisms help in the decomposition of this tiger. So that is how each of these organisms are dependent on another organism. Now if all of a sudden if you uh, say that all the variety or the species of tigers have uh, eloped and they do not exist anymore. So what will happen? This food chain will get affected. Those who were feeding on tigers will get affected and also those organisms which were being eaten by tigers they will also get affected. So that means uh, even if I mean, the decrease in biodiversity is not a good symptom because more biodiversity results in more stable ecosystem. So here we will talk about a very popular hypothesis called rivet popper hypothesis. So this hypothesis talks about the significance of each and every 
species or each and every organism in the ecosystem. Now just now I was telling you that if one particular organism becomes extinct or one particular species become extinct, it is going to affect our ecosystem. Now you might ask that just now you told that we have alternative options to eat. So even if all the mice become extinct, cats will still have something else to eat. So how does it matter? So you might ask that. Now sometimes a small extinction is, I mean the effect or the impact of that small extinction is not, doesn't become visible. But this hypothesis tells us how exactly we can say that each and every organism is extremely important for the sustenance of the ecosystem. So this hypothesis was given by Paul Eldrick. Now, as per this hypothesis, it considers the, it, it is like an analogical explanation of the importance of species in an ecosystem. So here the example of airplane has been taken. So now, before we talk about the airplane hypothesis, let us try to understand why is it called the rivet popper hypothesis. Now, what is rivet? Rivet is a small pin or a bolt. So I hope all of you know what is a bolt. It is like a small pin. And what is popper? Popper means to take away. The, the word pop, popper or popping means to take away or to escape away with certain things. So let us try to see this hypothesis. Then you will be able to understand why was it named rivet popper hypothesis. Now this hypothesis tells that if you look at this airplane or this aeroplane, there are various parts which are being joined together to form this aeroplane. Now how are the various parts joined? So the different parts of the aeroplane are joined together by small bolts and these bolts are called rivets. Correct? Now inside that aeroplane, now when, once it is being constructed using so many different parts and joining them together by rivets, you get this big plane. Inside this plane, multiple passengers sit and they travel. Now, what, ha what would happen if, let us suppose, one passenger comes out and he pops a rivet. That means he takes out a rivet. He takes out a bolt. Or a bolt. So, what will happen? Now, if you remove one bolt or if you remove one small pin, do you think that the entire aeroplane will break? No, not immediately because it is it is a very big structure which is being formed. So just removing one bolt will not make much difference. But if the same thing starts happening over and again, now let us suppose if all the passengers who are present in the flight, they all start coming out and each of them starts popping a rivet. So what will happen? In this case, the flight might be unsafe so it can affect the flight safety so if too many of the rivets are removed it can be extremely dangerous so the flight can or the airplane can even break down so what i'm trying to see here is this hypothesis was trying to focus on the fact that when initial one or two rivets were removed that there was an impact definitely so removing that one rivet was all was also creating some negative impact but that negative impact was so small that it was not getting noticed but when it happens on a larger scale the impact is deadly so the same thing happens in case of ecosystem so if you think of an ecosystem let us suppose we take an example of a forest ecosystem so this ecosystem is like the airplane now in this airplane you have several rivets and what are those rivets those rivets are the species here so here you see in this forest ecosystem you have various species like the giraffe lions tigers monkeys uh, elephants birds so you have different rivets present here now if only the giraffes become extinct what will happen it will have a negative impact on the ecosystem but maybe initially it will not become very evident because all other organisms will find out alternatives for the giraffe but when this becomes repetitive and over a period of time, if multiple species become extinct, what will happen? The entire ecosystem will get screwed up. So that is why we have to take care that species extinction does not take place. Because even though we do not get to notice the, their impact at the initial stages, but their impact is actually deadly.
So this was the message which was conveyed by Rivet Popper hypothesis. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.